Hi, Aaron Stonebeat here. I thought it might be useful to do a video on basic guitar electronics. I know there's a lot to be found on the internet, but also I think uh, not too much of it really goes into the basics. So I'll try to keep this as simple as possible. The first thing you need, of course, on an electric guitar is a pickup. A pickup is a generator of an alternating voltage. And the simplest thing to do is hook up the two wires from the pickup directly to your output. One of the wires connects to the uh, signal side of the circuit, to the tip of your guitar cable. The other side connects to the sleeve of the guitar cable and this side is called the ground or earth. The ground side always has zero voltage. So the real business is done at the signal side. Now first you might want to hook up a volume control and to this effect we will need a potentiometer. A potentiometer being no more than a resistor along which a wiper moves. A potentiometer therefore has three connectors, numbers 1 and 3 are the ends of the resistor and number 2 is the wiper, the moving part. Some people may get confused by the diagram because it may look like a mirror image but it's always the number 1 that connects to the signal side, number 3 connects to the ground side and number 2 is the wiper. When you've hooked up your potentiometer in the way shown in the diagram, it will act as a voltage divider. When the wiper is on the signal side, the full signal is transferred to the amplifier. When the wiper is on the ground side, zero voltage is on both sides of the circuit and no signal goes to your amplifier. Typical values you might find in guitars are 250 or 500 kilo ohms, usually of the logarithmic type. I might go into that later. A more realistic view of the connections might look like this. When you're looking at the bottom of your potentiometer, signal size goes to the left connector, ground side goes to the right connector, the middle connection goes to your output, the hot side of your output. And of course, you will want to hook up the metal casing of the potentiometer to the ground side of the circuit. This being important in reducing hum. Now, also, you might want to hook up a tone control. And for this, you'll need another potentiometer and a capacitor. The capacitor will act as a filter having high resistance to low frequencies and low resistance to high frequencies. The potentiometer is used to either engage the capacitor or effectively cut it out of the circuit. Note that in this case only connectors 2 and 3 are used. The wiper takes the signal and number 3 leads it to the capacitor. So when the wiper is on the ground side of the circuit, high frequencies will be drained to ground. If the wiper is on the signal side, the complete signal is transferred to the amplifier. Again, a somewhat more realistic view would look like this. Number 2 to the Signal side, number 3 to the capacitor, and capacitor goes to ground. And of course, again, you will want to hook up the metal casing of your potentiometer to the ground. Again, reducing hum. In this case, two typical values for the potentiometer are 250 and 500 kilo ohms. Typical values for capacitors are 22 or 47 nanofarads or 
or 0.022 and 0.047 microfarads respectively, which is the same. I hope this was useful. Next time I'll be discussing the use of multiple pickups and switches. Thank you.